Hi and welcome, Kat from Sacred Soul Rising. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, welcome to the 16th of August, this new moon energy. And this new moon energy is all about clarity. Today, I've been tuning in with the ley lines, I've been tuning in with the light frequency. And the message I'm getting today is all about clarity. Clarity of self, clarity of others, clarity of your journey. Um, also as well, I really want to, and this is coming through really, it has been the last few days really, really strongly of this journey activates you into a very sacred frequency where you have to look at everything going on in your life and look, is this true to me? Is this true to others? This journey is happening to you, not so you can act in those lower frequencies. This journey is a journey of love, of love of self, of love of others. You are activated on this journey to, sorry, swipe up, uh, to be that way shower, to hold that light. And I know sometimes on this journey, and I, and I want to approach this, that sometimes on this journey, one or two parties may be married, but this isn't soulmates. You can't sneak around behind each other's back. It doesn't work like this on this journey. This journey is you really coming back to this body, you coming into sovereignty of self, if you're treating this like soulmates and maybe having an affair or attempting to have an affair, this is not this journey at all. I really want you to know this journey is an awakening journey of self and an awakening journey is a journey of true light, of true authenticity. And so really get really clear on self, really get clear on your own clarity. What is it that you want in your life right now? What is it that you are wanting to establish? What are you wanting to create? The reason why the chakras, the kundalini is activated, is activated in all those chakras, not so you can half show up, not so you can sneak around behind other people's back, not so you can half-heartedly do this journey, your kundalini is activated so you align with your life force energy. And your life force energy isn't into sneakiness, isn't into um, anything low vibration. It is the highest form. It is the highest form of love. And so take it, take the, um, I'm sorry, I've got somebody cutting things for me. So you have to bear with me. You know, I'm always raw and real. We're not a stage here. I'm sorry. So we've now got the cutter. Before anybody comments down below, what's going on with the cutter? It's life. I'm having some cutting done. <laughs> anyway, getting back to what I was talking about. The base and root chakra gets activated so you can come into your own foundation. The base and root chakra is all about safety, is all about security, but not looking outside of yourself for safety and security, looking within, knowing that you are your own safety and security. The reason why that sacral chakra gets activated is because you are now connecting to your purpose, to your passion, to who you truly are, to your authentic self, and really in the sacral chakra, you can't do any of that low vibrational stuff. So I want you to get really honest with you, with yourself. If you are feeling and thinking, well, you know, I may be in a third party or there's somebody else sort of around or that's not this journey. Bottom line, it is not this journey. Now, it may have activated at that level, but moving forward, for a better way of putting it, you have to sort your shit out. You have to sort your shit out. You have to sort out your closet. You can't half-heartedly do it. You have to stare what is there in front of you in the face and approach it head on. And, you know, question, do that self-inquiry. Am I happy? Is this fulfilling me? 
If it's not, what do I need to do about it? You know, do I need to speak to that person? Do I need, you know, to take time out? What do I need? What do I require? The solar plexus gets activated because the solar plexus is all about the should have, could have, would have. Should have done this, could have done this. <sighs> should have, would have, could have. It is that regret. It is that feeling of pushing it down and not approaching it. Trying to put it in a box and not facing it. This is not this journey. You can't put things in a box and think, oh, I'll try and figure that out later. No, this is about truth. This is about authenticity. And this is about you facing your emotions, knowing that those emotions are not who you truly are. So you believe, i.e., that you, say, take for example myself, that I am cat, that I am this physical body. No, I am soul. And so when we approach the should have, could have, would have, the solar plexus from, okay, the mind and ego is getting triggered right now. The mind and ego feels I should have been more. I could have been more. The mind and ego feels lack, feels fear, feels betrayal, feels abandonment, the mind and ego. Why is the mind and ego showing that? Is that truth? And just allow it, just observe it. So you're not taking it on board, you're just observing. When that heart chakra gets activated, it is activating you for deep love for self, for showing up for self, for standing in your power, for standing in love of self, not doing things just to make everybody else happy, doing it from a place of what is it that I need and I require. And sometimes that's really hard. Not rushing into it though, not making snap decisions, allowing the heart and the soul to guide you. When the throat chakra gets activated, that is all about speaking your truth, but speaking your truth in love, speaking in your truth in authenticity, speaking your truth back to self. When the third eye gets activated, that third eye is your inner compass, is trusting self, is knowing self, is knowing that this journey, you've been guided on this journey from birth and nothing that is happening to you is by mistake. Everything is for expansion, is for growth. But feel into heart, sit in your heart chakra, allow your heart chakra to guide you back into who you truly are. When the crown gets activated, well, that crown chakra, that crown chakra is your connection to divine. You know, we often um, on this journey, when we connect with our other self, our twin flame, you know, it is the eyes, isn't it? The eyes are everything on this journey. Why are those eyes? Well, the eyes are the windows to the soul. When we look in somebody's eyes, we can see. We can see what their soul is saying. We can see that vibration within them. But when you see your other self, it activates the God essence. You see yourself in them. You see your soul vibration in them. And that crown chakra is activating you with that light frequency and that light coding so you can release that old dense carbon body and move into this multidimensional being, this high vibrational being and bringing everything back to you. I hope that you enjoy this new moon energy. I send you so much love into the world. Many blessings. If you need more help and support, my website's there to help and guide you. Click down in the description. Make sure you subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you know when I'm next live. It will notify you. It will pop up and say, she's live. And he can go, ah! <laughs> I send you much love. Many blessings. Have a blessed day.